It's early morning and we decided to kayak. Can you see me? I'm visibly tense and nervous, but trying to act cool. Well, today is the day I conquer my aquaphobia. Captain, saying ready to set sail, Mary. It's just kayaking, not deep sea diving with sharks. In my head, I'm wondering how exactly do I steer this? Gosh. But my ever motivating captain and my cameraman saying, "It's easy as a pie. You can do it." So I get the instruction: paddle left to go right, and paddle right to go left. Simple, right? What? You didn't check me, Varun. I'm like a deer caught in headlights, while the boys could barely contain their laughter. To top it, captain saying, "Don't forget to wave to the fishies." Yeah, yeah. Oh great. Now I have to worry about the sea creatures too. <laughs> My cameraman Vignesh saying, "Your subscribers are counting on you for a good laugh." Right. What more do I need? As I continue to paddle, surrounded by the calming beauty of the sunrise and the beautiful waters, I felt a remarkable shift within myself. In that serene moment as I basked in the warm glow of the setting sun I realized that my fears had faded away the vastness of the lagoon no longer seemed daunting as I watched the sunrise ascend higher and higher casting long shadows across the water I knew that was the moment that I would always cherish It was truly mesmerizing experience and I was filled with gratitude and a sense of awe being in the waters. After the adventurous kayaking, Anjali had made some tasty Indian breakfast. It was truly delicious, simple yet flavorful. I'm at the Alampare house and Anjali runs this beautiful homestay located right at the back of a beautiful lagoon. So welcome Anjali. Anjali, please come. Hi. I know we are going to be making something really special for Easter, but what's special about Alampare house? Uh see you can see this is a fishing village. Uh, the best part about Alampare is you get lot of seafood. There's fish, there's prawns, there's crab. Lovely. So because it's Alampara and it's Easter, I think we'll do something with the seafood. Seafood, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure yes. that everything is fresh. Yeah, yeah, everything you can. You know, you went for boating yes. and then you got your yes. catch. Yeah. You got your the fish. You got your prawns, uh, prawns and all yes. that. So I think that's what makes it special. A lot of people come here just for the and it's very ba basically simple and rustic place. Nice, yeah. lovely. So let's get started. So Anjali, what are we going to uh, make with this beautiful uh, tiger prawns? It's a very simple dish. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make butter garlic prawns, you are and uh, these are the ingredients basically. Okay. I mean, you can just see. Uh, it, the cooking time will be just 15 minutes max. Lovely. Yeah. Let's start. Okay. So we need to put some uh, butter basically and mm -hmm. let the butter melt. Okay. Add garlic. Yeah. Add the garlic. Yeah. Go ahead. So you're going to add some garlic. Yeah. Okay. We have one more to guess here. <laughs> yeah. So it's smelling good according to him. <laughs> We are adding the prawns now to the butter garlic. Let's not touch it too much. Just subtly move it around. We're going to use a green part of the spring onion. Spring onion. Nice. You can just 
don't even have to use a knife. Just use a scissor and cut it in a casual way. So the prawns continues to be on high flame and then all this liquid needs to go. So we just sprinkle some uh, red, chili red chili flakes. You can just squeeze in some lime. I think it still needs some salt, so we'll just sprinkle some more salt. Grilled fish with veggies. Heat a pan, add 2 tablespoons of butter, 2 teaspoons chopped garlic, a handful of spinach. Once it's nicely sautéed, add a handful of cherry tomatoes. Sauté the cherry tomatoes for 2-3 to three minutes and set aside. Here we have two kingfish fillets. Cut them into half. Sprinkle salt and pepper. Add a tablespoon of sesame oil. Marinate the fish for 15 to 20 minutes. In the same pan, add sesame oil. Add the fish fillet. Cook on one side. Then turn over to cook the other side. Once the fish is almost cooked, add 2 teaspoons of dark soy sauce, 1 and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce. Let the fish simmer in the sauces for 3 to 5 minutes in low flame. Once done, transfer it to the cooked veggies. The centerpiece of our Easter meal was the succulent butter garlic prawns and the grilled fish. Simple pleasures of good food and great company that made our Easter special. After lunch, it was time for us to head back to Chennai and on our way, we stopped at the local sweet shop in the fishing village. We tried two to three Indian sweets it was nice, but different. Our last stop was Alampare Fort. This is the Alampare Fort. Built in the mid-18th century on the site of a seaport active since the ancient times. This site is a confluence of history with imprints of the Mughals, French and the British. Alampare Fort has witnessed wars, earthquakes, tsunamis and ever-turning tides of imperial power. This fort was built on a fortress to keep away sea invaders. Apparently, the Alampara fort was a thriving port at that point of time. Now, this fort is a favourite spot for photographers and adventurous souls exploring the lesser known corners of Tamil Nadu. This is a 15-acre brick and limestone fortress which had a 100-metre long dockyard stretching into the sea.
from savouring delectable dishes to wandering through the ancient walls of Alampare Fort, our Easter weekend was filled with unforgettable experiences. Alampare House provides the perfect retreat, a haven of relaxation. Kayaking in the lagoon was truly magical, surrounded by the quiet beauty of nature. Our amazing stay wouldn't have happened without Anjali's kindness. She made everything so memorable with her warm hospitality. Wishing you all a wonderful Happy Easter! Until next travel, take care, bye-bye!